What's up, y'all? My name is Devin. Hope you're having a great day today. Guys, it's all about Bermuda grass today. And while Bermuda grass isn't technically a weed, if we don't want it in our cool season lawn, I consider it a weed. So if you have it growing in your lawn, you know just how frustrating and unsightly and ugly it is to have that big, fat, ugly weed growing in your lawn. I'm gonna give you three options that you can use to try to control Bermuda grass in your cool season lawn. Really quick, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, and uh, make sure you share this. Welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel. I am so glad to have you. This channel just continues to grow. I'm super pumped. Let's get into the video. So before we get going, it's super important that we identify and make sure that Bermuda grass is exactly what we think we're going after. We certainly don't want to be applying products to the lawn, you know, to try to control Bermuda grass and Bermuda grass isn't our problem. Say it's crabgrass or Dallas grass. So we won't get good control if we're not applying the right product. So let's walk, take a walk and I'll show you guys what Bermuda grass looks like in my cool season lawn. Let's go. All right, so we are over here in my side yard. Like I told you, it borders right next to my neighbor's yard. And I'll show you. Here's a good little example of some Bermuda grass. It kind of blends in pretty well. When it gets long, you can easily tell Bermuda grass. It's got these hard stems on it. And so the way Bermuda grass grows is by rhizomes and stolons. Rhizomes grow under the ground and they pop up. So this particular plant may start here but it'll shoot up a runner over here. It'll come over here, it'll shoot up a runner. You know, it'll come over here, it'll shoot a runner. And then it has these rise uh, stolons that grow across the ground and that's what pops up. And they have these little feelers they tack down in your grass. Uh, this one's a pretty good little bunch here. Yeah, I mean, it just grows and it's really aggressive. And here we are, it is the middle of August. And so Bermuda grass is absolutely thriving. Right now, it's just, it's growing like crazy. It loves the heat and humidity. So as this continues to grow, it'll get worse. I've got some more patches. Here's another one. You can kind of see it sticking up right here, this little patch. And it's just a different texture than the rest of your grass. I mean, if you come over here and look at this grass, it's nice and soft. All right, it's beautiful. And then we come over here and we got this runner for Bermuda grass. What are we going to do about it? I'm going to give you guys three options, three products that you can use to try to control this in your lawn. So before we get into talking about the products, I want to pause for just a second and tell you that if you have Bermuda grass growing in your cool season lawn, uh, of course, I don't want you to click away from the video, but I have to be honest and I have to be transparent and I have to let you know that once you have Bermuda grass in your lawn, it's just going to be something that you're going to have to deal with year in and year out, year after year. None of these products are going to completely eliminate Bermuda grass. Again, my goal with this video is just to give you some tips and some tricks and things that you can use to try to control the Bermuda grass to maybe minimize the fact that it's spreading or, or getting worse. Because again, if somebody tells you that you can completely eliminate Bermuda grass from your cool season lawn, they're not being fully uh, honest with you on that. So just want to be transparent and let you guys know and give you guys some options. Also, when you are going after Bermuda grass, you have to make sure that the Bermuda grass is actively growing. So we can't wait until fall. We can't do it in the spring because Bermuda grass isn't growing. We really want to do this mid to late summer. And the reason why we do it towards the end of summer is because no matter what product we apply to the to the lawn, there is going to be a little bit of damage to our to our turf. Okay, it's the middle of August. Our grass is already under a tremendous amount of stress, so adding an herbicide is only going to make things worse. I just want to try to minimize the damage. So let me show you guys something that I use to try to do that. This is a marking paint. And what reason why I like this is because I can go out into the lawn and I'll circle and spray exactly where the Bermuda grass is and it's green so it doesn't stick out too bad but uh, you know it'll it kind of gives me an opportunity to locate where the Bermuda grass is so that when I'm spraying I could really reduce the amount you know I don't want to be broadcast spraying any of these all over the place again trying to minimize the damage but want to control the Bermuda grass 
The first product I want to show you is something that I picked up at Lowe's, Lowe's Hardware. A active ingredient is Phenexaprop ethyl, and this is the BioAdvanced Fungus, I'm oh no, sorry, BioAdvanced Bermuda Grass Control for Lawns. All right, this is a hose in sprayer. Hook this up to your hose, and then you just go out and you broadcast spray this all over all over your lawn, and it turns the Bermuda grass white. Is it going to kill it? Yeah, it'll it'll knock it back. It'll you know, but it, again, it's nothing we're doing is going to completely eliminate it. But this is a great option. One of the reasons why I really like this is I don't have a huge Bermuda grass issue, a huge you know widespread issue. So. We'll talk about some of the products here in just a minute that you have to mix up into a gallon. Once you mix up that gallon, you have to use it. So for me, this is really convenient because it's pre-mixed. I hook up my hose, I can spray, you know, a particular area, unhook my hose, and you know, I can use this in three or four weeks whenever I can reapply. All right, so let's talk about option number two. And unfortunately for many people, this is probably not gonna be an option simply because of the cost. But uh, I bought this several years ago, and this is called Pylex. And Pylex is phenomenal. It does work. It will knock the snot out of Bermuda grass. But the downside is it's extremely expensive, and it has a very, very, very low use rate. So you have to be really careful when you're spraying this. You know, the label, I think it says like maybe one ounce per acre. So if you're spot spraying 1,000 square feet, um, you know, you can just got to be really careful. It does come with this little syringe that you can use to measure, measure it out. And, you know, just again, if you're mixing up a gallon or two, this will last you forever. As you can see, this bottle is really, really old, but I think it's like 350 bucks for a bottle, which is just crazy. But when I lived at my previous house, I had a huge Bermuda grass problem. So this just made sense. Again, I'm not sure how long this lasts, but I continue to use it and it works just fine. I do want to let you know that if you do look at the label, it does tell you to add methylated seed oil or triclopyr. So let me show you. Let me show you what those look like. So this is Turflon ester or triclopyr, and then this is the methylated seed oil. And to get the best control possible when you are mixing up the Pylex, you want to add in these two ingredients as well. The methylated seed oil is a surfactant, and it really heats things up. And the Turflon ester, the triclopyr. What I call makes it hot. Just be really, really careful. Again, try to wait till maybe the end of August, right before you are going to start your overseeding process, because you are going to get a little bit of kickback and knockback on your fescue. It will kind of, it will not like it. You're going to see it stunt the growth. It is going to do a number on Bermuda grass. So this is a great option for you if uh, if you can afford it. Let's look at option number three. So option number three, not really a great option. But nonetheless, it is an option, and that is a non-selective herbicide. So again, I mentioned using that paint, uh, you know, to mark your areas. Again, if you were going to do a non-selective, this is what I recommend. Non-selective, it's going to kill anything that you spray it on. So just be extremely careful whenever you're spraying this. But it is going to kill your good turf as well as the Bermuda grass. But sometimes, you know, if you're just kind of clearing out an area or you're doing a renovation, and you don't really have an option. This is, uh, you know, this works and it will kill the Bermuda grass. As I mentioned before, it's going to come back at maybe two or three years before you see that Bermuda grass, but I promise it's going to come back. Mix this with a surfactant. I like to mix this with a blue marking dye just to make sure that, especially when I'm spraying this in my good turf. Also, be very careful where you walk because if you don't want to step in this and then you'll see your footprints track throughout the grass. So just be really careful with this whenever you're spraying a non-selective. So I'm going to hook up the water hose and we're going to spray that bio advance out here in the lawn so we can start getting control of some beauty grass. I'm going to throw on some music for you guys to listen to. Let's go.
a nice light coverage is the name of the game here. We don't want to go too heavy. You know, again, we want to try to limit the amount of damage. I'm going to do this probably three different times. So I'm going to wait probably two weeks and then I'll spray again. I'll wait another two weeks and then I'll spray again. Make sure you read the label though, because you have to wait um, so long before you can apply grass seed. I'll make sure and review that before I put down grass seed. This is our fourth video in the series. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Again, we covered Bermuda grass today. I've done a video on crabgrass, poa annua, and nuts edge. So if you're dealing with those weeds as well, make sure you go back and check that out. My name is Devin. I'm the DIY Lawn Coach. Thank you so much for watching the video and checking it out. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Give me a like. And make sure you subscribe. Peace.